Hi guys. I'm sure everybody's like, where has this girl been? Not on YouTube, that's for sure. Life is so crazy right now. It's so annoying when people say that. Like every time I watch one of my favorite YouTubers and I'm like, okay, where are you? Like I'm offended that you haven't been posting videos because I miss you. Not that I'm saying I'm anybody's favorite YouTuber, but when I watch my people, I'm like, what the, f where are you? Answers, I need answers. And then they get on there and they're like, life is so crazy right now. That's me. Like, I feel like I'm being that person, but you guys all understand life happens. Anyways, we just moved into our new house. We've been here about a month. I thought it was gonna be super easy to just come in here and like, we didn't have a ton of stuff. We had to order all of our furniture and get sent here. I was like, it's gonna be so easy to move. No, I still have boxes I need to unpack. I'll have to do a little life update situation. I really wanna film a home tour for you guys. Um, I actually did film one and I hated it. I was rushing to film it. It was in between furniture deliveries and there were people in and out of the house fixing things. I'd say probably like the first two weeks we moved here. I was rushing when I filmed it and then we had like half furniture but not full furniture so I'm gonna refilm it. I'm actually gonna wait until like all the boxes are gone because I want it to look cute for you guys. Anyways, I know a lot of people were asking if I'm gonna do a home tour. I am, I'm just not ready yet. Like I need the house to look perfect because it's like I'm showing you guys like my friends, my home and it's gotta be presentable. I have to be a gracious host. <laughs> I haven't filmed a video in so long I can't stop talking. If you made it through that long ass Intro, we're gonna be doing a Sephora haul. I know you guys go crazy for hauls. I love hauls. Every time I see somebody post a haul, I'm like, click, let me see what I need to add to my cart. So this is specific, this is specifically the Sephora VIB haul. I treated myself. Actually, Matthew treated me. It was his birthday gift to me. I just turned 30, by the way. Who am I? I feel like I'm like a grown ass woman now, as if I wasn't before, but now I feel like I'm fully grown. I missed you guys so much, can you tell? I did some damage. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I love doing hauls because I love sharing things with you guys, things that I'm excited to try, and everything um, is luxury, pretty much, or high-end. You guys know I'm a drugstore queen. I live, breathe, die for drugstore makeup, and I cannot recommend it enough, but I think ever since I kind of fell into like drugstore over everything, I haven't tried a lot of high-end makeup. I don't think, like I might have purchased something here or there, but just, I went crazy. You guys are gonna have to let me know about the lighting. I broke my cord that connects from my camera to my computer and I use my computer as uh, my monitor so I'm just using the little viewfinder on my camera and it's like this big, it's teeny tiny so let me know how the lighting is, let me know if anything looks weird or if you, I should change anything because I don't know yet. The first thing we have is this from Melt Cosmetics. This is a Gemini palette and I got this because of Raw Beauty Christie. I think it was limited edition sold out, came back, sold out, like it was like in that weird limbo phase. And then I just totally forgot about it and then it came back in stock. So I picked it up. This was kind of expensive. I can't remember how much it was exactly, but it was like, God, I wanna say it was like close to $60. But, oh God, it looks so beautiful. And I'm a big fan of greens. I live for them and this just looks satisfying to me. These are like so buttery. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's do this green. It's mostly mattes and then you just have two shimmers. The green, this copper color, and then that's just a random matte I swatched. Let's do this one right here at the end. Yeah, they're just so soft and smooth. Ooh, I, I really hope the lighting's okay because I wanna be able to show you guys swatches and everything like that. Um, this looks amazing, I can't wait to use it. I wanted to use it so badly over the weekend, but I resisted. I got this from Sephora Collection and I don't like it. This is the Sephora Collection Glitter and this is in the shade Glitter Dress. So this is what it looks like. It's one of those like taupey shades that I love to go for in the winter. If you guys have been with me for a minute, you know how much I love my taupes, but it almost, and I haven't used it, I've only swatched it, but it's almost like it has an overlay on it of glitter and then it is just like a, a satin shade. So I'm not, crazy about this like I kind of wish I didn't get it but I already did I'll just show you guys a swatch right here I was expecting it to be like BAM glitter and then also on the website it looked super super sparkly like real intense and I'm gonna try it but I don't see myself getting a lot of use out of that I got this trio from Hourglass it is this scattered light glitter 
eyeshadow trio and I've been wanting to try these and I always add them to my cart when I do an order or something like that online and I always end up taking it out because they're expensive um, but the set was $45. I cannot recall how much they are individually. I want to say they're, they've are they got to be at least like $25 since it's Hourglass. So I thought it was like an okay deal, you know, considering the brand and everything. That's what they look like. This is the one that I tried over the weekend and I don't know. I just feel like it could have done more for me. But can you see the top two, how glittery they are? They look so freaking pretty. I'm so sorry if um, the lighting is not good. I, I do apologize, but I really wanted to film this video because I miss you guys and I want to use this makeup and I feel like I'm cheating on you if I don't share it with you first. I got this from Tarte. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. I got this because Tati always talks about this. She recommends this so hard. I did get the travel size since I only use these in my T-zone. It was like half the price, I think, and it'll take me a while to go through this. I use this today because I have a new foundation I want to test and I wanted to test this on its own. The first time I used it, this is the second time, the first time I used it, I, I don't know if it was my sponge or if it was my foundation is old. You guys, I haven't worn foundation in so long. I'm not kidding. This is probably the third time I've done my makeup in like six weeks. That's not an exaggeration. I still have my summer foundation and I'm pale. I had to bronze my whole chest because I'm so pale and my foundation's too dark. So that's on my list of things I need to do. Get a lighter foundation that actually matches me. Um, so I don't know if it's because my foundation is old. I don't know if it was my sponge, but it like gathered. My foundation didn't go over it smoothly, but I'm determined to make it work. I feel like it's gotta be something else because Tati recommends this so hard and I really trust her opinion. I try a lot of things that she recommends and I can't recall ever not liking something. So I tried it today. It looks okay today. I did a little less foundation. It could also be my skin. My skin's kind of dry right now because it's been cold as shit in Houston, which is just so bizarrely unusual. So maybe that's it too. I'll definitely update you guys. I feel like I'm just like, I got this because of this person, this because of this person, but a lot of this stuff, it's like I hear about in YouTube videos, I wanna try it. But I got this because of Katie. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. She always talks about these and I just, I wanted to try it. Um, so I got this in the shade Endless Cacao, 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 Cocoa? It's C-A-C-A-O, Cacao? I don't fucking know. It's a little bit more of like an ashy taupe. I got it with the intention of it being a lip liner. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. I think you can use these in your, as liner too, like they're universal pencils. You can use them for whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I should have tried it today. I don't know why I did it. I wouldn't do a first impressions testing this stuff out. So that's why I'm kind of waiting to not use this stuff so we can do that together. And then this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I've never purchased Charlotte Tilbury in my life because like she is up there for me. I mean, I love her makeup and I love like the way she does makeup, but I'm just like, oh, you're so expensive. I love you so much and I want you, but I just cannot bring myself to spend the money. Anyways, again, for the occasion, I did it. This is the Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Foxy Brown. Looks like this. Like, how many dark brown lip liners can I get? I literally have no idea. Um, but it, it kind of looks like one of those gel-like formulas, like the... Let me see what I have over here. So this is one I got in a BoxyCharm from Appeal. It's like a gel type of formula. It kind of looks like this, if you guys are familiar with this brand. It's a little more matte feeling. So I'm interested to see how that works. And then it's this one right here. Basically just another dark brown, but you can kind of see the difference between the two lip liners. The Makeup Forever one's a little more ashy and this is a little more like warm tone brown. Anyways, I'm so excited because people rave about Charlotte Tilbury and I wanna be in the club. I'm jealous. Okay, with that being said, I also grabbed this. This is the lipstick and this, if this is not the most luxurious looking lipstick I have, no idea what is and it better be because bitch this was expensive so this is the uh, I don't know if this has a name or what type of lipstick it is but it's in uh, Kim KW I'm assuming she made this after Kim Kardashian which I love Kim Kardashian her lip combos are iconic I'm always trying to achieve that Kim K lip so I thought you know what go big or go home baby so it looks like this very very beautiful like just so 100% up my alley. I also picked up this foundation because of Tati. She rapes about this. I've been wanting to try this, but I wanted to try a sample first because with foundations, I'm so particular. You guys know if you've been watching me for a minute, I am so incredibly picky. I don't try a lot of new foundations anymore and I don't like to be super wasteful because 
I'm gonna be honest, 90% chance I'm gonna end up returning it because I am so picky. So I actually wanted to go into the Sephora and pick up a sample just not to be wasteful. And you know, it's like, why buy it if I, I have a feeling I'm gonna return it? I had never made it to the store to pick up a sample. Um, anyways, longest explanation ever why I haven't tried this foundation yet. But this is the Studio Skin Full Coverage. I got the shade 2.3. Light, medium, um, and then the undertone is warm. So it's cool because it has everything on there. They had a, I want to say, I think they had a decent amount of shades. And I haven't even tested this on my chest, so I'm going to try it right now. I think I remember in Tati's video her saying that it oxidizes. And I'm almost wishing I went a little lighter. Ooh, that looks like super peachy. Obviously, I have to try it. Just like you can totally see the whole swatch right there. I don't know, I'll try it and see how it works, but I kind of wish I went a little lighter because I think I remember her saying that it oxidizes a little and nothing makes me more angry than when a foundation oxidizes. Also, I picked up this from Brio Gio. I got this again on Tati's recommendation. I swear, I need to do a Tati Made Me Buy It video. Somebody suggested that to me in the comments in one of my old videos because I think I was talking about all the stuff that she makes me buy and I always love her recommendations and that's on my list of things to do. I still need to do that. I told you guys I have a very flaky scalp and I think I have psoriasis on my scalp I don't think it's dandruff because dandruff shampoo doesn't work for me the only thing that semi works is like a shampoo specifically made for psoriasis so I picked this up I wanted to try it it's the Brio Geo scalp revival I know she says that she um, swears by this but I did just get the mini one because Again, I want to test it before I commit to it. If it works, then I'll totally buy the bigger size, but I think this was like 10 bucks. It smells heavenly. It smells like a Bath & Body Works peppermint candle. I just, again, didn't want to be wasteful, like with my money and then with the product as well, so I just picked up the small one. This is gonna last probably like two times in my hair because I have so much hair, but we're gonna try it out. I picked up one of the Stila Magnificent Metals. I have not treated myself to one of these in a long time. I love these with my whole heart and soul. I think they are so unique. I have never really found a liquid shadow that I love as much as these and I compare everything to these. I just think these are the best. I hate the price of them. They're $25. That literally fills up my car with gas for one of like this, for this. And they don't last that long. That's the downfall. But I was like, you know what? I'ma buy it because I want it. So this is the shade Wanderlust. Everybody talks about this on the internet. So I decided that I was going to get it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this. This looks more of like a summery type vibe instead of a fall vibe. Hopefully that's a good swatch and it's doing it justice. It looks so pretty. It's almost like a, reminds me of like a mermaid. Like what a mermaid would wear on her eyes. Like teal, purple, gold. I cannot wait to try that. I'm literally so excited. I could die. Okay. Also, I picked up these from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I didn't know that they came out with lashes. I think the Sephora website said that they were new and they were only 12 bucks. So that's not too bad. You guys know I live, breathe, die. Affordable lashes, I I'm not a believer in expensive lashes very very seldom unless it's something that somebody sent to me or like I tried out the Lily lashes for the first time they're gorgeous I love them they were literally like the most some of the most beautiful lashes I've ever used but I cannot justify the price tag I have a ton of affordable lash videos um, where I talk about just like so many good affordable lashes under $10. These were only 12, so I just went ahead and picked them up and these are in the style Hollywood. They're also uh, faux mink or synthetic, which is great. I know a lot of people don't use mink lashes, don't like to use mink lashes. I uh, don't use mink lashes anymore. I do have some in my collection that, you know, are just that I've had over the years. I use my lashes as much as I can before they fall apart. Not that I like went out of my way to buy mink lashes because I didn't. I've always just been okay with synthetic lashes. They work just fine for me. I just never made it a priority to make sure lashes weren't mink before I purchased them. And I would say probably about like, I, I think I remember it was specifically around Christmas time last year. I kind of just made it a priority that I was gonna be just a little more mindful of not using, or not purchasing mink lashes. If I do have some in my collection, I'm gonna use them until I finish them off because that's wasteful. I hate to be wasteful. And, you know, just from here on out, I make sure, like I actually make it a point to know that I'm not 
purchasing mink lashes. So these are faux mink. I don't know if they're faux mink. I don't think they claim to be faux mink, but it just says they're faux. So anyways, they look really pretty. They're affordable, at least in my opinion. Let me show you guys what they look like up close. These are called So Hollywood. And this is like my style at the moment. I used to be obsessed with just the big, fluffy, thick uh, caterpillar uh, tarantula lashes and that's just not my style anymore. My style is more like this, like my Coco Venus. The last thing that I purchased is this from Hourglass and I literally always want this every single year when this palette comes out. The, um, this, I don't, I don't know what it's called. What's it called? The Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. So this is that ungodly expensive palette. I mean, this thing was $80. Oh God, it was $80. I can't believe I spent $80 on a palette. I just did it, okay? Don't judge me. These are the top three highlighters. I mean, their powders are just so beautiful. They are so luxurious and they just make your skin look like skin. I just want my makeup to look like it's part of my skin. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing heavy 50 pounds of makeup. I want to look like myself, but better. When I think of Hourglass, that's what I think of. So I'm justifying why I bought this. I'm not going to do that because I deserve it. Okay. okay. And then the last thing that I got was this. This was a birthday gift, so it was free. It was my gift that I chose. I, I can't remember what the other option was, but this is one of the Urban Decay um, one of those glitter shadows. This is so pretty. It's so sparkly, even though it's like a pinky shade, it's so sparkly. It's called Starlight. I just want to show you guys in case you, you know, maybe you want to pick this up on its own. It's one of those shadows that has kind of like a colored base, but it's mostly glitter on top. Oh God, so pretty. I can't wait to try this. It's not too pink either. It's like a champagne -y pink so I think we'll get along just fine and then that came with the all-nighter setting spray I have been wanting to retry this forever I know I say I'm not a setting spray believer like I feel like they're very gimmicky and I don't use them and I did use this in the past and I remember repurchasing it and just being like why did I repurchase this like just remember thinking it, it wasn't worth it for me so anyways it's nice to have a sample so I can at least try it I mean I've, I used it years ago like it's been at least five years so I'm excited to try it again and see if I still feel the same way but anyways that's it I hope this video wasn't so boring I hope I didn't talk too much I know I talked a lot because again I missed you guys I'm sorry I took such a long break, but again, like life is just life right now. I'll have to do like an update video, kind of telling you guys about the house and what's been going on. I want to do a get ready with me, testing these products together. I also want to do my go-to, I mean I haven't been wearing makeup as of lately, but I want to do what was my go-to fall makeup look before I got so busy with this damn house. And it's super easy, it's like one shadow mascara so pretty for fall. I mean, you can wear it any time of year, but specifically for fall was my go-to. And yeah, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you have any other recommendations because even though I say I'm trying not to spend money on makeup, I still spend money on makeup. Let's be realistic. I always love to hear what you guys have to say about products. I really trust your guys' opinion. I try so many products based on what you guys leave in the comments for me. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!